start off from the Court of Arbitration for Sports, where it has adjourned the verdict hearing uh, of the case between Wilfred Osekweku and the Ghana Football Association. Now, Ose Palma was disqualified from the GFA presidential elections by the then governing body of Ghana Football, the Normalization Committee, shortly before the polls as a result of his refusal to pay Joseph Pinto 10% commission on his transfer to the FA as well as his statements on unclassified payments and was later asked to submit his apology letter to the committee. Now the Tema Youth owner subsequently filed a protest at the Court of Arbitration for Sports seeking justice and with the verdict said to be heard on Friday the 17th of July 2020. Now the Court of Arbitration for Sports has announced uh, that it will rather make the uh, pronouncements on August 4. Now, should the verdict uh, favor Osekweku, the GFA elections held on Octo uh, in October 2019 could be annulled and a new election held with Osekweku taking part in it. Now, joining us on Zoom this morning to uh, get, a, uh, get a sense of what this means for the Ghana Football Association and also for uh, Osekweku is sports journalist and lawyer uh, Eva Autry. Now, uh, Eva has joined us uh, has joined us on Zoom this morning just to uh, discuss this major uh, topic at the moment. Let's just uh, bring Eva into the conversation. Eva, good morning and welcome to uh, the sports segment here on New Day. Good morning, Yao. Yeah, now, Eva, tell us, now, what would, uh, under normal circumstances, inform uh, a postponement of a case of that magnitude? Um, yeah, I think you you are trying to plunge me into some speculation and conjecture. Yeah. But thankfully, the um, Court of Arbitration for Sports, as the CAS itself, cited its uh, regulations, I mean, its Rule 59, as the basis of the authority for the postponement. Um, that goes to show that it's not an unusual practice. Yeah. And so... Uh, let's just say that they want to be more thorough, they need time and they are permitted under the rules of practice, their procedures, to extend time in order to come out with a very concrete decision which would be satisfactory to all parties. So I think that um, given the fact that they have um, stated that they are going under Rule 59 of their procedural rules, I was I would just stick with that and say that I don't see anything um, fishy. <laughs> um, I would just stick with that and say that, well, they are acting well within their right to extend the time if they feel that the work is not complete. It's not unusual in my considered opinion. Right. Now, now Eva, I'm, I'm sure you follow the case from, from, from its inception. Now, what, what do you think the possible outcome of this case could be? I mean, looking at it from, uh, from how far it has all started. Um, the point is that, I mean, <laughs> whichever way you look at it, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, Damocles hanging over the head of um, either party. I mean, the GFA, uh, Mr. Kwekose himself. I mean, as it's, it's going to be an anxious wait for um, all interested parties in this matter but and and there are there are quite a number of um, ramifications or outcomes that one can look at there could be a decision or an arbitral award which if which in effect grants all the reliefs being sought by mr quicko say holy right yeah and um, that would mean that he is cleared of any untoward conduct or any wrongdoing. Yeah. And um, also there's an order for a rerun more or less of the election that was held um, and that brought President Keto Kweku into office. Yeah. There could also be a, a dismissal of the appeal in its entirety. Yeah. That's also an outcome. The CAS could also tread a fine line in between by deciding that even though we agree that you were treated unfairly and so we grant that declaratory relief that you were indeed treated unfairly and should have been allowed to participate in the election and so prospectively going forward we clear you of the misconduct or the wrongdoings that um, grounded the decision to disqualify you from participating in that election. Yeah. 
we will still maintain the status quo and not append the system. Yeah. And so we would um, still say that going forward, these issues cannot be brought up against you again. Okay. If you choose to stand for any election okay. to an office like that. Yeah. But we maintain the status quo. We will not order a rerun of the election. I know that sounds incongruous, yeah. but we're dealing with a body which is not new to such controversial decisions. Exactly. I mean, a few days ago on Monday, they came out with that decision involving Manchester City in the uh, f uh, financial fair play yeah. uh, decision. Yeah. It, it, it has elicited varied um, 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 reactions from the main actors of the sport. Yeah. And so it's not unusual, you know. So it could be that Mr. Kose could could win and still not get the overall effect that he is looking for. Yeah. That is that the system or 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 the cast can also say that. Okay, so in view of the fact that we agree that you were treated unfairly, mm -hmm. we are abridging the time for elections, which ordinarily would have been in four years, right? Yes, yes. As a tenure yes. of this of the particular administration. Yeah. We can abridge the time and say that in view of the fact that we uphold your claim that you were treated unfairly. And so this this election that brought um, the administration into office is tainted you know, uh, by injustice, we are we are saying that within the next few months, organize yeah. fresh elections mm -hmm. uh, where Mr. Kwekose gets to participate. Yeah. That is also an outcome. Okay. So there are different outcomes that could come out. I mean, <laughs> the cast could go far and beyond and even say that, look, um, we even feel that the wrongdoings that were leveled against you, the, uh, the, those um, wrongful acts complained of, were so egregious in our view yeah. that we feel that you should have suffered a greater punishment for it. And so we can even go beyond what happened to you and say that maybe we have slapped a ban or something. And I'm looking at all these ramifications. Yeah. All these would be outcomes. And so... Um, that's why I started by saying that it's indeed uh, a clear case, a classic case of uh, a Damocles hanging over the heads of all interested parties. Eva, now, now, now final question before you go. Uh, I mean, we, we've spoken about the possible outcomes and everything, but what, whatever the outcome is, does it hurt the credibility of the Ghana Football Association in any way? Well, it's... Um, Whatever the outcome, it would be a precedent of sorts going right. forward. Right. So it, it it could it could help sanitize the system to an extent, um, because you know, Mr. Pekosei's um, um, concerns border on the fact that even if which he denies he is guilty of any such wrongdoing, mm -hmm. you are talking about. Um, he feels that he could not be the only one who falls foul of that, right? Yeah. So he's yeah. been singled out, singled out for victimization unfairly. Yeah. And um, also the fact that you could stretch the argument and say that these are acts of the club and not the individual uh, say, exactly. um, yeah. right? Yeah. But then I know that, I know that the decision was taken on the basis of um, a failure of the test of moral turpitude. Because yeah. if you are leading an organization like that and you want to ultimately lead the Ghana Football Association, then you are expected to exhibit certain uh, qualities of honesty, moral turpitude, and all of that, which the uh, um, election committee at the time felt he had failed. Right. So um, it, it, it sets a precedent, right. which would be a guide going forward. Yep. Um, and it will be good to ensure that there is fairness and justice at all levels in the FPS dealings and but then it's also it also clears the way i mean if it goes if it goes um in the opposite direction it clears the way for the fa to to concentrate finally on this core mandate of steering ghana football 
back onto the path. Well, 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 that was uh, that was Eva Autry. I think we are having some some uh, technical problems there. But I mean, uh, Eva Autry is a journalist. No, no, I, th I think Eva is back on now. Yeah. All right, uh, Eva. Would like to would like to thank you for joining us this morning uh, here on New Day, just giving us an insight of what we should expect uh, with a ruling of, by the Court of Arbitration for Sports on the uh, uh, the fourth of August, and that's what uh, we are hearing at the moment.